Gott, wie heißt denn die? Ich, Mann, ich weiß es nicht mehr. Ich habe nur, ich weiß, dass es das auf der Messe gab und Dan Suzuki sich eins mitgenommen hat. Und ich habe mir aber die Firma nicht gemerkt, ich Idiot. Und das ärgert mich bis heute noch. Ist es das hier? Müssen wir kurz mal gucken. Oh, das ist es. Ich glaube, das ist es. Ist es das? Das ist es. Ja, das sind die ganzen Seitenpanels. Hey everyone, so. Mike here and welcome back to the Sim Racing Den. In my recent setup tour video, I showcase my new Sim Racing setup built upon the ASR Pro chassis from the team at Advanced Sim Racing. This unique Sim Racing cockpit features a one-of-a-kind adjustable wheel deck and flat-faced aluminum profile made of some of the thickest grade aluminum in the Sim Racing industry. When I set out to upgrade my entire setup and replace my Track Racer TR8 Pro with an aluminum profile rig, I had several criteria for a new chassis. Has the ASR Pro met my expectations and would I recommend it? Well, that's exactly what I'll be answering in this video. Firstly, let's talk about some of the main features of this chassis. Aluminum profile cockpits have sort of become the gold standard for sim racing because of their strength, adjustability, and the standardized profiles that allow you to expand out and customize the rig to your liking. However, this chassis introduced some unique features that make it a standout from others in the market in my opinion. The flat face aluminum profile is the first standout feature that not only looks great, but it maximizes stability by utilizing what ASR claims are the thickest grade aluminum ever offered in the sim racing industry. The chassis can be ordered in the infinite black color scheme which I've opted for, or the more daring electric lime for the more adventurous types. Now, the finish of the aluminum is generally something special. It not only helps prevent scratches thanks to the thick coating, but it also has a metallic-like finish that resembles almost a finished and clear coat of an actual car. ASR also offers the Pro Chassis and an unlimited variety of custom colors. Sorry, I must have caught it. I love it. So if you fancy the sim racing chassis that matches maybe the color of your favorite racing team or maybe even the color of your actual car, ask them and they might be able to make it happen. Additionally, the flat face aluminum profile allows for more customization options, including UV prints or vinyl wraps. Regarding design, the ASR Pro chassis follows a similar format to other aluminum profile rigs. Thanks to the 6-inch aluminum base and seat mounting configuration, the seat can also be adjusted vertically and horizontally to accommodate various sizes and types. While the seat is not included... Oh my god, this is so good and clever! ...with the chassis purchase, ASR does offer multiple options including their own branded seats. Alternatively, any seat could be mounted provided you use the correct side brackets for your seat of choice. The pedal tray is also made of aluminum with two pieces of profile that can be adjusted to mount different pedals. Alternatively, ASR offers a standard pedal deck depending on the user's preference and type of pedals you're using. The pedal deck and heel rest are highly adjustable, allowing for distance. Alter, das ist so schön, dass das einfach riesengroß ist. Ui angle and height customization to suit individual driving tastes. Even mounting pedals with non-removable bases is pretty straightforward like you'll see here with my Ace Attack Invicta pedals. It's just a matter of aligning the true profile pieces with the holes on the pedal base. The ASR heel plate can also be used instead of the built-in one, which I've done just overlapping it for better positioning of my feet. Now, the adjustable wheel deck is the highlight of this chassis and one of the main reasons of my pre-order. Other rigs can be challenging to adjust once everything is set and tightened, particularly for those who use Oh lol, er hat sogar den Porsche Screen. Holy guacamole, let's go. Multiple steering wheels. However, ASR has developed a functional and clever system that makes changing the wheel deck position a breeze. The wheel deck is mounted to four slider channels, allowing easy height adjustment with convenient levers. Two additional levers and sliders adjust the distance by sliding the wheel back and forth. This system also enables hot swapping of different wheelbases or even switching out for a flight control system, 
with the ability to purchase the wheel deck separately and swap it in and out. This is particularly useful for those who have both driving and flight sim setups. The ASR Pro chassis offers multiple options for the wheel deck depending on the user's wheelbase. The standard wheel deck suits entry level and mid range products, while the Podium DD side mount is obviously for Podium series wheelbases. The CSL DD Pro side mounts are for the Fanatic CSL DD and the popular GT DD Pro. And a front mount is available for SimiCube, <coughs> SimMagic Alpha, VRS products, and different front mounting wheelbases in the market. The front mount also has adjustable angle options, making finding the perfect seating position and steering wheel position extremely easy. In addition to the ASR Pro chassis, I've opted for their 32 inch triple monitor stand with the advanced visa adjustments in order to make lining up my monitors more manageable. Ooh, so let me sum good. things up and give you some final thoughts on the The fact of his Invictus mit Socken, okay. ASR Pro. Let me first be clear though that I have no affiliation with Advanced Sim Racing and purchased this with my own cash. So rest assured that the thoughts and the opinions on the chassis are my own. And even if it was a review unit sent to me like some of my other reviews, it would still be my honest opinion. This chassis is built like a tank with exceptional build quality that offers zero flexor movement. It has enhanced my overall experience and confidence behind the wheel. I'm pretty sure it can support anything you throw at it including complete motion setups. Although it's probably Aber es gibt noch es gibt noch ein anderes, wo du auch noch du kannst auch noch hoch und runter machen. Overbuilt. Ich glaube, das ist es nicht. As it ensures durability among jets. Also das ist schon geil. Aber das ist es nicht. Aber das ist es nicht. Last you for many many years to come. The flat face aluminum may be less practical, but the design and the finish of the aluminum are certainly appreciated. The coating allows for sliding pieces and making adjustments without worrying about scratching the profile making it a massive plus for anyone, I'm sure. The unique steering wheel deck is an excellent quality of life feature and cleverly implemented that works exceptionally well without any flex in my experience, even testing at high force feedback. It's ideal for making quick adjustments to find your perfect seating position or switching peripherals for flight sims. The building process was straightforward. Yeah, but the question is, geht das hoch runter, also geht das einfach hoch und runter? And no different than many other aluminum profile rigs. ASR even provided me with some helpful installation videos that made things very simple. The rig does come in a few boxes that were extremely well packed. However, there was one minor damage to the heel plate. I'm not sure if it was during shipping or maybe beforehand, but either way, it's how things are dealt with. I reached out to ASR who quickly resolved the issue and rushed out a new heel plate free of charge in less than 48 hours, which I think was a really great way of dealing with this. I can confidently say that the eagerness to respond and help with all my questions during the buying process from ASR was top notch. The ASR Pro in the end has exceeded all expectations and improved my overall sim racing experience through its stability, comfort and loads of adjustability. Although there are many other aluminum profile rigs for less money on the market, if quality and details matter to you, then investing in the ASR Pro is worth it in my opinion. It's the one to go for if you're looking for your end game rig and you may never have to replace it unless your needs drastically change. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this review helpful. And if you did, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up as it does help recommend my content to like-minded viewers. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button now for more sim racing content. Until the next one, stay safe and happy racing. Thank you. Okay, wir müssen wir müssen gucken. Chat, wir 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 müssen wir müssen kurz mal gucken. Äh, ASR Pro. Davon gibt's echt wenig Reviews. A quick review. Sieben Minuten. Oder kann man das, warte mal, ist das auf der Homepage? ASR Pro Simbrick. Kann man das bei denen auf der Homepage sehen? Da, ASR Sim Racing. Haha. Hier sind wir doch <lacht> an der richtigen Stelle. Das ist es. Man kann das so und runter machen. Ja, yep. du hast hier den Slider dran. Das. Arctic White. Oi.
Das finde ich ja schön. Oh, das finde ich ja ein bisschen schön. Schon auch äh, das, das Fußteil unten, das fehlt mir nämlich aktuell. Ja, was ich mag, meins mag ich nämlich nicht mehr so gerne. Ui. Aber das Geilste ist halt wirklich, dass du das Lenkrad anpassen kannst. Weil, also aus folgenden Gründen. Nicht, dass ihr jetzt denkt, so, oh, Dizzy, du Hornox, oh, was willst denn du jetzt schon wieder? Ähm, das GT-Lenkrad, also mein, mein Rig ist ja auf dem GT äh, eingestellt, ne? Also was oben keine Rundung hat. Wenn ich beispielsweise mein Rundes für Rallye ran mache, dann geht das auf den halben Bildschirm hoch und ich muss immer so Rallye fahren. Also so. Und es wäre halt schöner, wenn es ein bisschen tiefer wäre zum, zum Fahren. Und es gibt nirgendwo, und ich weiß auch gar nicht, also bis auf jetzt hier, ähm, äh, bis auf jetzt hier ASR, ASR war das, ne? Ja, genau. Bis auf ASR hat keiner so etwas. Keiner. Und das ist super clever eigentlich, so ein, so ein Schub für hinten, vorne, hoch und runter damit reinzubauen. Das ist richtig geil. Das ist richtig clever. Aber Monster Tech hat das auch. Das Verstellkit. Ach, warte mal, man kann sich dieses Kit kaufen? Haben die das im Angebot? Krass, die haben das auch im Angebot. Tatsächlich. Ach, cool. Guck mal, Simle. Ach, hier gibt es sogar dann die, die passenden äh, Dings dazu, wofür du das machen möchtest. Hier. Wir gucken mal kurz bei Monster Tech rein. Äh, Cockpits. Racing. Nee, das ist nicht dasselbe. Nee, das ist nicht, das ist nicht geil. Also kann ich euch jetzt schon sagen, warum das nicht geil ist. Also die Idee ist cool, aber du slidest äh, Nutsteine in Aluprofilen rum. Und ich kann euch wirklich eins sagen, Nutsteine in Aluprofilen rumrutschen ist ganz unangenehm. Weil durch die ganze Bewegung und Kraft, die vom, die ganze Bewegung und Kraft, die vom, von der Wheelbase da dran wirkt, verkantet die Dinger einfach irgendwann. Und das ist nicht geil. Also nur in den Dingern rumschieben... Das ist nicht schön. Und was ASR halt hat, ASR hat ja die, äh, hat ja eine eigene Schiene dafür gebaut. Also so, dass du nicht in den Aluprofilen rumschieben musst. Also das ist cool, dass es da ist. Auf jeden Fall. Definitiv. Und es ist, ähm, also ich möchte das Produkt nicht schlecht reden. Ich persönlich würde einfach nicht auf, äh, würde das nicht machen. Das, das, nee. Weil Aluprofile und Nutsteine sind ganz, ganz großes. Ugh. Und mein Aluprofil sieht echt schon wild aus. <lacht> Meine Aluprofile sehen wirklich schon wild aus. Also wirklich, nur vom Hoch- und Runterstellen ist das bei mir so unglaublich kaputt schon. Weil die Nutsteine, meine Nutsteine stehen halt immer nicht in der Nut so drin, sondern manchmal so, manchmal so, manchmal so, manchmal so. Und da sind schon so viele Kratzer dran. Ne? Puh, das kannst du dir gar nicht ausdenken. Deswegen finde ich das System von, äh, von, von ASR so geil, weil da ist so eine vorgefertigte Schiene, die nicht im Aluprofil drin ist. Das ist schon schick. Hammermodern oder Nutsteine? Nee, Nutsteine. <lacht>